What just emerged in Antarctica terrifies the whole world because Antarctica has revealed shocking new discoveries that are causing fear worldwide. Scary underground evidence of frozen civilizations have been found beneath the ice, which is extremely surprising and something we never thought was possible. Researchers are using advanced technology, including amazing innovations from NASA to uncover incredible evidence underground. These findings have the potential to completely change what we know about history. Let's take a closer look at these remarkable findings in Antarctica. Scientists from Brazil and Chile have made a significant finding about Antarctica's history, which is known as the most unwelcoming continent on Earth. While it's currently covered in snow, it was not always like that in the past. The research, led by Dr. Jocelyn Manfrey, a paleobotanist from Brazil and her team, shows that Antarctica experienced regular forest fires in the past. These fires were closely linked to volcanic activity during the final stages of the dinosaur era, approximately 75 million years ago. The scientists conducted their research by collecting paleontological samples on King George Island, which is part of the Shetland Island archipelago, located on the Antarctic Peninsula. These samples were obtained during scientific expeditions organized by the Chilean Antarctic Institute INACH, and the Brazilian Antarctic Program PROANTA. The same researcher had previously provided the initial proof of forest fires occurring in Antarctica back in 2015. This evidence was published in a scientific journal called Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, Paleoecology, under the title The First Report of a Companion Paleo Wildfire in the West Antarctic Peninsula. What's more, in 2021, another study in Antarctica was conducted, which presented additional evidence supporting the occurrence of forest fires in the region. But the recent evidence presented in the study, conducted by Dr. Jocelyn and her collaborators while she was doing her postdoctoral research at the Chilean Antarctic Institute, proves that Antarctica was indeed engulfed in flames during the Cretaceous period. Forest fires were a common occurrence, and these fiery episodes were closely linked to the volcanic activity happening at that time. A recent study titled Antarctic on Fire Evidence of ancient wildfires linked to volcanic deposits in the Antarctic Peninsula during the late Cretaceous has been published in the journal Frontiers in Earth Science. This research provides concrete proof of this significant discovery about Antarctica. The study's authors emphasize that understanding global environmental changes is one of the biggest challenges for humanity. To tackle this challenge, it is crucial to create scenarios that help us comprehend the environmental changes occurring in various locations around the world. Such scenarios play a vital role in unraveling the evolution of our environment. According to Jocelyn, it's not enough to focus only on the current signs of disturbances in our surroundings. We need to broaden our perspective and consider studies that cover a longer period of time. This means examining and comprehending the past environments of our planet known as paleo-environments, and the factors that disrupted them, like fire. These studies are crucial for developing scenarios and models that help us better understand how our Earth works and aid in the preservation of our present-day ecosystems. Antarctica, known as the continent of extremes, is capturing the attention of researchers who seek a deeper understanding of this unique environment. Despite being the most challenging place for life to thrive today, with its harsh conditions like extreme cold and intense winds, Antarctica also preserves its environmental qualities remarkably well. It acts as a natural laboratory, offering exceptional conditions for conducting various scientific studies, both basic and applied. This makes Antarctica especially intriguing from a human perspective, as it provides valuable insights and opportunities for research in diverse fields of science. Although Antarctica is now a vast and remote landmass located in the Southern Hemisphere, it hasn't always been in its current position. Over millions of years, it has undergone constant movements caused by tectonic activity, resulting in its various positions on the planet throughout its geological history. These changes in location also brought significant transformations to the environments found in the southern region. In the distant past, Antarctica was home to diverse species and lush forests, which can be traced through the preserved remains of ancient plants found in different geological contexts on the continent. Notably, the deposits from the Cretaceous period hold particular importance in revealing this rich paleobotanical record. In the Cretaceous period, much like today, forest fires played a significant role in shaping terrestrial environments. These fires were not only common, but also considered an important factor in distributing various ecosystems. 
Evidence of past vegetation fires can be found in fossilized charcoal, which forms when plant fragments are partially burned and preserved in the geological record. Several factors influence the frequency, intensity, and occurrence of natural fires in ecosystems. These factors include seasonal climate patterns, the availability of plant material, fuel, moisture levels, and the different ways and causes in which fires are ignited. This research reveals that during the Cretaceous period, the southern environments experienced forest fires more frequently than previously believed. These fires had a significant impact, consuming vegetation either partially or completely. By studying carbonized plant fossils recovered from the Cretaceous deposits in Antarctica, particularly those found on King George Island, researchers were able to identify the types of vegetation that were burned, primarily consisting of gymnosperms. They also investigated the factors that triggered these fires, providing valuable insights for reconstructing a clear picture of the ancient environment. According to the lead author of the study, Dr. Jocelyn Manfroy, the intense volcanism observed during the Cretaceous period in Antarctica played a crucial role in driving the occurrence of forest fires. Contrary to what one might expect, it was not the flowing lava from active volcanoes that consumed the vegetation. Instead, it was the contact between the vegetation and the heated ash clouds, known as pyroclastic clouds, expelled by the volcanoes. These ash clouds, preserved in the geological record as fine volcanic sediments, such as volcanic tufts, reached the forests and ignited natural vegetation fires. Dr. Jocelyn Manfroy further explains that despite Antarctica being characterized by negative temperatures and extensive ice coverage in modern times, the presence of plant fossils provides evidence that its environments were once subjected to fires. The frequent action of fire on the vegetation shaped and disturbed the southern forests during the Cretaceous period, influencing the evolution and biodiversity of plant life in those regions of the world. Furthermore, scientists have discovered a special space rock in Antarctica that is very old and unique. It contains some of the oldest material found in our solar system. A researcher from the Chicago Field Museum named Maria Valdez said that they got really excited when they saw it sitting alone on the blue ice. A group of scientists found a 17-pound meteorite during an 11-day expedition in Antarctica. It's about the size of a gourd. This special rock is really amazing because it has material in it that's billions of years old. It's actually one of the biggest meteorites ever discovered in Antarctica. The rock most likely came from the main asteroid belt, which is located between Mars and Jupiter. The Independent reported this information. The Field Museum in Chicago, which took part in the expedition, explained that out of the 45,000 meteorites found in Antarctica in the past 100 years, only about 100 of them are as big as this one. This helps us understand how rare and special this meteorite is in terms of its size. According to the Tribune, the researchers spent almost two weeks searching for meteorites on snowmobiles across the icy fields. They were just about to finish their exploration when they unexpectedly made this amazing discovery. Founders mentioned that they were initially unsure whether to celebrate because they knew if they found a meteorite, it would be a significant discovery. It was only on the final day, during the last hour, that they became convinced they had found something extraordinary. Valdez explained that the team realized its rarity when they saw that it was as big as a bowling ball, but weighed twice as much. Valdez observed that the rock had a special outer layer, called a fusion crust. This crust is formed when the rock entered the Earth's atmosphere and slightly melted. Additionally, the meteorite appeared to be worn down, indicating that it had been on Earth for a long time. The rock was then sent to the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences in Belgium for chemical analysis. Valdez expressed that every meteorite carries important information about how Earth has evolved over time. She emphasized that the size of the meteorite is not the determining factor of its significant value, as even small micrometeorites can provide valuable insights. According to The Independent, the majority of the 45,000 meteorites discovered in Antarctica in the last century were very light, weighing only a few grams. The discovery took place a few months after NASA carried out a successful test in which they destroyed a large asteroid measuring 530 feet in width. The purpose of this test was to prepare for the potential threat of a massive asteroid heading towards Earth, similar to the one that scientists believe caused the extinction of the dinosaurs millions of years ago. That particular asteroid was estimated to be 6.2 miles wide. Also. It's pretty interesting to know that there are reports about an ancient civilization in Antarctica that had a ton of gold and thought it was super valuable and important. 
Gold was a big deal in their society for a bunch of reasons. They believed it had special meaning and power, especially when it came to their gods. They used it in religious ceremonies and rituals because they thought it was like the gods themselves. The rulers of this civilization, who were considered divine, wore fancy gold jewelry and crowns to show off their authority and importance. Gold was also used for fancy decorations and making fancy things for important people when they died. The rulers and rich folks had all kinds of golden treasures like jewelry, masks, statues, and furniture. They even traded gold with other civilizations and used it as money in the forms of bars or jewelry. Also, it's pretty interesting to know the concept of a Nazi presence in Antarctica, which is largely based on various reports, often associated with expeditions undertaken by Germany prior to and during World War II. And it's a fact that Germany did conduct a number of scientific expeditions to Antarctica in the late 1930s and early 1940s as part of their broader exploration efforts. One such expedition was the German Antarctic Expedition of 1938 to 1939, led by Alfred Richer and aimed to establish a German territorial claim in Antarctica. They conducted extensive scientific research, mapping, and exploration of the region. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel 